Right, hi everyone, Stumpy here from Kent Urban Exploration. I'm um, here today in Gillingham in Kent, uh, specifically the Lower Lines Defences. Now what I'm here to see today is an experimental steam powered seesaw searchlight. These were developed in 1870 by the Royal Engineers uh, to protect the crew and the lens itself from enemy fire. I'll turn the camera around now and give you a, a little look at it and uh, an explanation of how they work. So as you see it's quite overgrown. So how it'd work is in the foot on one end of the seesaw in that recess would be the, the crew and the carbon arc light that would shine the light to the other end uh, which had a mirror obviously which then would reflect the light back that way uh, and thus the aim of the light would be going that way and the crew would be protected under that quite thick barrier right, so as i said uh, this was actually an experimental design they built the first one of these over in Sheerness, uh, the second one was built here in the Chatham Lines Defences. Uh, they, these are actually very rare, especially this one because it's of its experimental design. I believe there's only three other emplacements in the entire world um, that have these still in place. So, And they were slightly modified for, from these ones. But what they'd have is the actual light would be powered by a steam engine. Uh, which with this one, I believe it may have been in there, in the... In the uh, little passageway behind that uh, either there or similarly in some of the other forts they actually had it in woodland opposite so it could be over in this woodland here because it's very overgrown or I'd have a look right but, uh, what I'll do now so I'll have a little look inside a little closer and uh, see if I can show you around oh, but before I do so this is a great place to look around if you're ever in the area and very detailed gives you a bit of history on each of the items Have a little look. Ah. So this door would have been like a little, uh, would have gone into there in the shower, it would have gone round inside here, and would have just been used for storage, an area for the, for the soldiers to sit. What is interesting is this looks like one of the original wooden windows. heavily defended on top to protect the crew well that's interesting we always love to find a hole and lucky enough I bought my torch so I was not expecting to have to use it let's have a little stand here Very interesting. Oh, all these thorns. Can you see down there? There's something down there. Very, very unexpected. Let's have a look in the other hole. Oh, there's also a ton of red ants. That's how I really want to have a look. Ah, sorry. Okay. It's... I can see ahead of me some brickwork going under the curve. Seems to be entirely curved. Uh, oh, okay, it's an entirely curved shaft, possibly a well. It goes straight down. I can't see any any no. I can't see any passageways leading off. It goes maybe 1.5 meters down, and all I can see is dirt and rubbish and debris that's been chucked down. Well, certainly wasn't expecting to find that. Let's see what else might be around. So here would have been the uh, carbon arc bulb at the end of a seesaw that would have been controlled by the crew 
seesaw would have gone up. You'd have had a mirror up there, which obviously the light would have gone straight up, reflected, and up over that way, obviously towards the coast and uh, where the enemy would be coming from. Uh, and the crew would be really sitting under this, nice and protected. So I think that is everything. So, once again, it's been a pleasure showing you around. Uh, what I'll try and do is add a little bit more history in the video's description and um, put an article about this place on my website. So if I've missed anything, it'll be in there. Um, so until next time, catch you all soon.